Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival. And uh, we got some updates to go over, but the primary focus of this episode is to answer the age-old question of, um, are trees cars? Now, in the last episode, you may remember that I chopped down some big trees and uh, defended or protected my base with them using an entire barrier of a tree wall thing. I'm English and real good right now. And um, is this cow? This cow better not be. You better not be one of the cows that I had over here. Hold on a second. Okay. All right. We still got two cows over here. But as you can see, the trees were repurposed uh, for a cow pen because they did not work very well for defense. It turns out each section of tree can withstand a single hit. For, uh, actually, no, it can't withstand a single hit. It can't even withstand a single hit from a haybot. So they're pretty useless for defensive walls, um, which I found out the very, very hard way. And now I'm trying to test... Uh, no, please, please just get in, the, get in the pen. There we go. Now I'm trying to test if they have any use uh, for pen, cow pen walls. I don't know if trees behave differently when it comes to the spawn radius or like the despawning uh, things that the game does with your equipment, which uh, I think is part of the problem where cows will just get outside of your pens. So I'm going to go ahead and feed these cows. Another thing that I've heard in the comments is that cows need to be fed at least once every couple of days. Otherwise, they'll just disappear entirely. So I'm going to try to remember to feed these cows every so often. And hopefully we'll have cows always here. But the real test is going to be going out and coming back repeatedly when everything tends to despawn when you're outside of the uh, radius. Are the cows still going to maintain this location? But using this concept with these trees, um, I did find out in that episode that you can pretty much weld these trees to anything, even other tree parts. So I want to try to build, just out of a personal challenge of mine, I just want to try to build a car that is made out of pretty much entirely trees other than the other in other in essential parts like wheels, bearings, seat, and engine, and so on. So that's going to be the goal of this episode, which means I'm going to have to go find some trees, bring them back, and then the other interesting thing is I, I do have to break them down into their kind of like their component parts. And then we're gonna tr I gotta try to figure out how to use them. The really difficult things that I'm imagining are uh, the steering is gonna be very difficult because usually the steering is a very, very small area on the vehicle because if you have like a giant steering thing, it's just, it's gonna make it more difficult to drive and it's gonna take up so much space as it turns. So tree parts don't really have small parts like this. They're all just really, really big parts. There's actually a lot more unanswered questions now that I'm starting to think about it. Like when I cut down a tree into like a split log, can I weld to the flat side of that log or is it only the ends? If I can only weld to the ends, then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to add things other than trees because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to attach anything to the sides of the trees. But uh, let's go out and grab ourselves some trees like last time and hope that we're gonna have an easier time of it this time because last time, last time was not- Hank! Hank is gone! He was just here a little while ago. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot to update you guys. So, uh, updates on what Shane since last time. I did do a little bit of building off camera. I guess Hank is going out to get some more milk. I mean, I told him we already had a farm. He didn't need to do that anymore, but he's not listening. He was here a little while ago. I think every couple of days, the bots respawn in their locations, like no matter where they are. That must be what happens because it seems to be pretty consistent. Ooh, ooh, there's a spare log right there. I can use that for testing before I go out. So, uh, you notice anything different? You may notice something different, and that is I have uh, changed the archways that we built to have glass ceilings, just like this, which is what I, I said I wanted to do this, but I didn't have enough glass at the time. But now I finally had enough glass. I replaced all of the archway uh, tops with glass like this, so I think it looks pretty cool. I'm digging how it looks. And there's another change that I made that's a little bit more subtle. See if you guys can notice it. You guys notice the change? No? No? It's understandable. Understandable, because it's very, very subtle, but also very, very useful. So what I did was I made my farm more symmetrical about this center point, because last time, this wall right here, this wall went out to a shorter distance from the center point than this wall did. You may remember these staircases were not identical, so this staircase used to be much more separated from this walkway. 
But now, each of these staircases are identical from the walkway, which means that I also, I basically moved this entire, this whole wall here, and this staircase, and this entire top walkway has been moved in towards the farm about five blocks. Which, uh, the reason why I did that was because I was noticing that if I want to extend these walkways back towards whatever I'm building around this workshop area, um, this side was going to reach a different part in relation to that pillar than this side over here was, and that was bothering me. That was just going to make symmetry not very fun for this, whatever I'm building. I don't know what I'm building back there. But now, if we extend these all the way back to the second floor, then this is going to be a much, much more symmetrical and easier build to measure out. The other update is I just added some lights to this side of these castles, because at night, those castles are just completely in the dark. I want to do that all the way around the towers, but uh, I, I need to make more lights and stuff and just deal with that. So yeah, that's uh, the updates on everything else. So let's head out, find some trees, and let's get crafting. Oh yeah, this, uh, this piece of wood right here, I wanted to test out real quick. With my weld tool, I want to figure out, can, oh no, can I build, oh no, this challenge is, this challenge is not going to work out very well. I should have realized this. All right, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. If I break this down, ah, we have a potential solution. This is a terrible idea. This is just going to be, this is not going to be a permanent uh, project that happens. This is just for the sake of experimentation and seeing what happens. But turns out the rods, I'm gonna have to use the rods in order to change the directions of the build grid because otherwise I'd have to only build in a straight line and I couldn't build up or down from the wood, the wood pieces. I don't know if that made sense to you guys, but it should make sense after you see it in action. Man, I have really, oh, here we go, here we go. I was gonna say, I have really cleared out the big trees from like the nearby areas, but we got a handful right here, which should be good enough. All right. Big tree number one. Actually, do I need more than one big tree? I mean, for symmetry's purpose, I could just add one big tree to either side of this. So I think I'm going to do that. This time I'm going to add it a little bit higher than I did last time. So it doesn't drag on the ground, but this brings some other problems with it. All right, there we go. Let's get rid of these unsightly branches. All right, that tree looks clean. All right, second tree is coming down. Let's get our vehicle in a more uh, appropriate spot on flatter ground here. All right, and then this tree gets attached right there. All right, and I'm even picking up the little straggler pieces because if I make mistakes, I need as much room for error as I can with using these tree materials. All right, now let's see if we can actually get this thing back home. All right, guys, I made it back. It was a little rocky. We almost got stuck a few times, and I think I see Hank over here. He's uh, he's trying to get me another cow from. I told you he was going out for milk. He brought a cow back. So, all right, come on, Hank. Back home you go. I kept your room just the way you left it. Over here, over here. There you go. All right, hold on. Let me get your uh, let me get your bedroom door back installed. There. There we go. Right, everyone, everyone, say hi to Hank. Hi. Hi. Hi, you gotta wave back this time? There you go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, when he waves back. Alright, uh, so really quick before we deal with the trees and stuff, let's go check on the cows now that we've gone out in a boat. And is the corn back? It looks like the corn's back. The corn, corn grows back quick. We'll give them a feeding. Ooh, we got uh, a chest over here as well. Anything good? Component kit? Component kit? Battery? Component kit? Not bad. Alright, how are the cows? I need a light over here. I had three. And I still have three, looking good so far. Okay, so now I just realized that I haven't uh, started crafting the materials I need for a vehicle right now. So let's see what we have, what we need to craft, and then we can start working on breaking this wood down into the appropriate pieces. All right, I'm not gonna, this is gonna be just a, this is an experimental build, so I'm not gonna go super complicated. I, I'm not gonna use suspension. I do have a driver's seat already, so that's good. Do I have an engine? I do, I do have a level five engine, wow. 
All right, so I need bearings. I need a lot of bearings. Bearings and wheels, pretty much. Please tell me I have enough for these. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty. I'll use big wheels, I guess. One, two, three, four. And I'll make the bearings over here. All right, we are ready to start building this car now. And the more I think about this, the more difficult I realize this is going to be. Because I need a base to put my seat and engine and stuff on. And look, I can't put anything... I cannot put anything on the sides of these. So, at the very least, I'm going to have to break a, a decent amount down into rods. And rods are going to be my diverse, versatile uh, attachment options. So, here, let's start. Oh, can I... Oh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to put this entire vehicle on a lift, I just realized. Because... I wanted to... Oh. Is this like a life hack right here? Because... I can't... What? Wait, wait, wait. If I put this... Technically, I'm not supposed to be able to put rods and tree parts on a lift. But as you can clearly see... Oh, I need to get this vehicle out of the way or it's gonna, uh... It's gonna take these things automatically. All right, let's move this. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. This is so complex. All right, you know, I, I just need to, I need to break these trees down into their parts right now. So I'm just gonna use my vehicle to do this. I just need it into like the smaller pieces that my hammer can handle. Yeah, so I just go to each individual section until it breaks down and then I can handle all of these with my hammer. And this gives me more versatility in my building abilities. All right, there's one tree broken down. Do you think that's gonna be enough? I think I'm gonna leave it at that for now. And I'm gonna keep this tree as just a backup. Maybe, maybe we can just have this for materials later. <sighs> okay, so now let's put our lift down. We need to keep this lift away from this vehicle because that vehicle is gonna pick up. Oh, <laughs> I, th I think I just realized if I actually built this vehicle, like just as is, and then I drove this vehicle into this vehicle, it might pick up part of the, like any of the rods on the vehicle. It might just vacuum it up and destroy my vehicle. All right, so right now I'm just building my base. This is where I'm gonna put my seat and stuff. So there, look at that. Yeah, I can totally put my seat and everything on here and then I can build off of this. All right, this is fantastic. And I have to, I cannot move my lift right now because if I move my lift, I'm not gonna be able to put it back on a lift. So we put this one like that and then this one like that. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. And I'm gonna take one of these and, oh, wait a minute. I need another rod. So I'm gonna weld this rod center-wise like that. I think that works. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, perfect, it's even. It is even, that is great. How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the same exact width. I need another rod. This is gonna be the most like precarious vehicle because any hammer hits will destroy it. Any haybot hits will destroy it. If I go too close to a resource collector, it might destroy it. Oh, this is interesting. So now, oh, pl please tell me I can put a bearing on these things because this ruins the whole plan if not. Oh yes, that is perfect. Okay, because then what I can do is I can take this and weld it right on the back. You know, I'm gonna create like a pickup. Oh, I can't, I can't do it that way. I'm gonna do it this way then. All right, just like that, perfect. And I place this rod right there. I just need like a one block like that for steering, right? Should I just use a wood block? Is that cheating with a single wood? It's still tree, right? <laughs> I'm gonna say for the sake of design that I'm allowed to use a single wood block just for the sake of the steering bearings. But you know what? I don't need steering in the back, I just realized. I need to figure out how to put that somewhere up in the front. Oh, I got it. I got it right here. All right, I'm just gonna break this down. And then I can place this right on the bottom. Wait, can I place it on the bottom of that? Where is that even attaching to? That doesn't make any sense. I shouldn't... <gasps> I almost broke my vehicle. One more hit and that's broken. And now I can put a bearing right there for steering. And then how do you think it'll look putting the wheels this close to the middle? That's a little bit too close, isn't it? 
Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more design and planning on this. So I'm going to put that there, delete this bearing, and I'm going to take one of these and attach it right here. I feel like I've ruined it. Maybe I need to take a quarter one. Yeah, like this and attach the quarter piece just like that. That looks better. All right, I'm actually this is turning out way cooler than I thought. I wish this was something I could like maybe save. This quarter log can go just like that. And I think that's looking pretty good. So now I can take these rods and I can place one. Oh, I can't place it underneath unless I attach down here. There's two. And the whole purpose of that is to put this one here so that I can put a bearing right here for steering. And then, wait, this isn't even going to work for steering, I just realized. Because if I put the steering bearing right there and then immediately put a wheel, this wheel cannot turn because it's too close. So I actually need to, I need to use a little bit more wood for steering. I need to have it out by one like this. Yeah, so that should work. Now I need to do the same thing over here. Oh, here's the question. Is this seen as like a creation? Can I attach? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know how these trees, because these trees, they, you can't use your lift on these tree pieces. So like, I don't know if this works differently for other aspects of building as well. But now you can see we got everything hooked up in the front here. So now we just need the back section. And is this the same uh, height as the front wheel? Yeah, that looks like it. Okay, this is actually going to turn out. I think this is going to turn out really awesome. So now, can I weld this right there? Perfect. This is perfect. Guys, this is going to be a really cool vehicle. You know what? I'm going to have this be a six-wheeled vehicle. I'm going to make two more wheels while I'm building this. All right, so now I'm going to line... This is going to be kind of like a truck bed. So now I need a couple more rods to line the corners, the back corners of the bed. And this is where my other wheels are going to go as well. So there's one. There is... Two? Is that going to look weird with the back wheels there? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right. So I got, whoops, that's not where it goes. One wheel there, one wheel there. And I think that's going to look okay. So yeah, let's continue what we're building. It does look a little bit awkward for some reason. I'm not, I, I can't quite put my finger on what makes it awkward right now. I feel like th this part is a little bit too tall, but you know what? I'm going to rectify that. Oh, I'm almost done with this entire section right here. I think I just used an entire tree so far. This is this is kind of fascinating. All right, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to line the bottom with these big tree parts, which means I need to cut this tree down a little bit. Whoa, I just got a whole bunch of let. Oh, this bridge just broke. What? It's lagging out my game. What just happened? Why? I didn't... I didn't even do anything. I wasn't even... I wasn't even using the bridges. I'm so confused why this just broke. No. Don't do this. I am so confused as to why that would happen. Here, let me... Delete this. This isn't right at all. This is like, this is terrible. That bridge is fine. That bridge is in the up position now. I don't know how to fix this because I think this needs to go in the other direction. This brings me back to the days of the suspension bridges. <laughs> I don't know any uh, OG Scrapman fans are gonna remember the nightmare of building a suspended base using suspension bridges. This is, uh, this is reminiscent of that. I don't know what caused this. All right, my frames are okay right now, so I'm just going to leave that. That's not the main focus. I'll fix that later. I think I think this uh, modification I made here with these bearings, I think this is a tr this is this causes trouble because when I I didn't tell you guys, but when I opened up my world to work on the glass archways, my bridges kind of messed up and these things were like glitched into each other and I had to like do some modifications to fix it. So I'm thinking that that might have ruined the bridges. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this yet, but we'll worry about that later. Let's deal with this first. All right, now this should work. This should work measurement wise. I should be able to put two of these facing this way. So one like that, and this one goes just like that. So now let's give this thing all wheel drive. 
All right, before we see if this thing works, um, I just, I had to make a mod, like the bridge just kept glitching more and more and was killing my frame rate. So I'm gonna actually wait till daytime to see if this thing works. But I had to cut the bridge off and put this part over here, which is really unfortunate because I gotta weld that thing back on and then program it all over again. But at least like the main mechanism, the main drawbridge mechanism stayed intact. So I don't have to worry about that. I just gotta worry about these bearings. All right, and now the sun's coming up. So this is what the vehicle looks like so far. And I think this actually is looking really, really cool. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing some potential modifications to make. So here, let's actually, let's do this before I test drive it. I want to weld one of those, I want to weld one of these things right across here as like a bumper, but I can only weld it on the ends and I have nothing sticking out here unless, unless I was to do like this, but then that's also going to block this wheel. So that doesn't work. I mean, I guess I can use this then. I think this is the best I can do, and I can put another one right up there, and that should be, that should look relatively symmetrical and decent. I really wanted the big piece, because it looks awesome, but uh, if there's just no, the weld attach, the limits of the weld attachment points just don't allow that to be a thing. So I think that actually looks pretty good for a bumper, and I think we need to add something similar back here as well. Ooh, actually this one, I think we can add a back bumper that is these, one of these big pieces, like that. And then I just need to add a couple more rods there for symmetry. Hmm. It's a little bit weirder than I thought it was going to look, but maybe if I put that brace there, that looks a little bit better. All right, I need more pieces to play with. There we go. I think that looks pretty decent. I can do that on both sides. So I think by doing this, it's going to make the seat sit much more naturally if I can grab it by the right point. There we go. Oh, yes. This thing looks so cool. All right, and then ready, ready, ready. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some lights. I'm gonna go get some lights. This thing is turning out so awesome. This is starting to look more like a train than a car or a truck almost. All right, so I can put one light right there, one light right there, and then do I have any spots in the back? I mean, I guess you just put one right there and one right there. All right, you ready? This works so well. I like, I don't want to get rid of this. This vehicle is a huge waste of resources and serves no practical purpose. You can't put it on a lift or anything. If you flip over, you're like, you're pretty much done. Like this is a very, very wasteful vehicle, but um, I love it. The aesthetic is like, you can't get this with normal blocks. I, it looks like it has a face too. This is so cool. All right, there's a couple more. There's a couple more things I want to add though. I don't like this gap with the, where the wheels are. I want to add another rod there. All right, and I think that fills out the bottom a lot better. And this is looking really good. All right, let's paint up the lights, and we got ourselves a tree car, a tree truck, tree truck. I think tree truck sounds good, and it kind of looks more like a truck anyway. All right, can you paint? No, you cannot paint wood. It makes sense. I don't know why you would be able to paint wood, but hey, look at this. We got ourselves a tree truck. Oh boy, I flipped it over. Well, this is what the bottom looks like, which is kind of cool. All right, so I should be able to use my lift to push it back over. I just can't put it on the actual lift. Come on, please work. Oh yeah, look at that. That's not so bad. This vehicle's small enough that the lift can do that. All right, can it? Is this thing capable of killing a greenie? <laughs> yep. I wonder, like, that's a pretty small uh, bed for a truck like this, but I wonder what we could actually fit in there. I mean, maybe like a gas tank would be nice to fit in there, but I cannot believe how successful this thing was. But the sun's about to set, so I think I'm going to call it there. Let me know what you guys think about the tree truck. And that name kind of flows off the tongue, too. Tree truck. And uh, leave some comments down below if you want to see any other special ideas in scrap mechanic survival like this or other base build ideas or anything like that. I'm always open to where you want to, what direction you want to see survival to go in. If you guys enjoyed this video, you're going to want to check out some of these other ones on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.